Hey guys, Happy Dude here, and I'm going to show you some functions of the Elmod Pro Board and also how you can change all the settings for your RC tank. Alright, so first install the Elmod app on your computer, it's not that hard, and make sure you check all the boxes on so you have all the drivers for your computer. Make sure you have the latest Elmod app installed on your computer. Alright, next step is connect the battery to the board and plug in the USB connector to the board. It's this plug right here. Then connect it to your computer. And don't forget to turn on the power. You will see a blinking light that means it's searching for a remote control but we don't need that all right the next step is to start the Elmod app do it as administrator okay the first thing you should do is choose the right type of battery you're going to use and here you can see the info of the board and the battery. You can control the vehicle through these buttons to test your settings so you don't need a radio. Here you can choose which button of the channel on your radio is going to do what. Here you can change everything for the driving. So the power when driving forward, backwards, for each gear, how much torque and how long the tank remains in that gear, the power of the gear changes, the jolt power, how powerful the brakes must be, here you can change everything for the smoker does it need to turn on automatically and how much smoke do you want with ignition while the engine is stopping when the motor is idle when it starts shifting up you can change that all here you can change the speed of the turret everything for the main weapon and also the MG you can also change all the lights does it need to turn automatically on you can even let it uh, flicker when the engine is starting or turning off the brightness you can also set that up If you have servos connected to the tank, you can also set that up. This is for the battle function. If you have that, I don't have that. You can also boost uh, the sound volume of everything. And here you can change the sound for the tank that you're having. And it's a big list. And every change that you make is directly done. So you can test it immediately. If everything is like you want it. You can save the profile, it will be saved uh, on the board, not on your computer. To update the board, close the app on your computer and turn the power off. 
for the board and then press this button here and keep pressing it while you turn on the power and then release the button now start the LMOD app on your computer again while connected to the board of course now before you update make sure you have the latest LMOD app installed on your computer now start the app again and now you will get this screen right here and you will see at the bottom update in red click it click yes let's make sure the motors are disconnected and then choose the latest update which is 2.04 Now, if you want to change the sounds on your Elmod board or add some new sounds, take the sound card out and put this in your computer. Now, to add a song to your card and to play it out of your tank, you will need this program right here AVS audio editor now for example let's take this song right here drop it into the program then go to file save as you can also do some editing to the sound make it shorter or just take a piece out of it with this program now save it as and choose wave PCM that's good then the channel should be mono the frequency should be 2250 Hertz and sample size 8 bit then choose where you want to save it alright no then close the program and now you can drop the file you've just made onto your sound card and it should be um, I think they don't know common and you should replace the user sounds you can go up to 32 sounds now if you want user 1 to change just name this user 1 and then drop that audio file into that folder and then put your sound card back into the Elmod board reconnect it to the computer and start the app and go to the tab receiver if you changed user 1 you can choose which channel you're going to assign to that and you just use user sound one then save the settings and close the app all right now it should play a sound when I press this button right here let's test it out Ah! 